Okay, I'm uh, the loudest of the bunch here. Hey, and if someone sees my glasses, I can read what I'm here for. Uh, <laughs> we have a few cast and crew members here, so let me start off. Um, we'll pass it around and tell us what you did and who he is and what the hell you're doing here. Hey, I'm Mark Richardson. I did the props from the beginning all the way to uh, Wild Forest. And if you want to buy any of my stolen props, uh, I have them over here. <laughs> I have some great stuff that he was not allowed to get rid of. But it's in my house and uh, we won't go there. The Snellum game was one of my favorites. But uh, get rid of that. Anyway, my name is Scott Page Bacter. I was one of the producers. I was in charge of uh, the voices for the shows from well, about episode 36 on and did a lot of voices. And we did something that was a little different that because we did I was in charge of I was involved with post production versus this show that you guys began to hear about its production, but I think Power Rangers and these shows we did was the first time that we actually had to combine these two and make them work together. And it was not always a happy union, but we got through it. That's true. I worked with Scott um, in the ADR division of the show, uh, replacing voices for all the hooded characters, uh, working with the main cast whenever they were in the hoods. Um, helmets, I should say. Excuse me. Helmet voices, but it's been a while. Um, we worked on all kinds of uh, villains and all the suited monsters, guest monsters. I played uh, the voice of Scorpina in season one, and um, what else? Oh, and um, uh, I got nine Warning Rangers, Alpha Six um, later on, and um, and I started a, a lot of my voice act, uh, voice directing um, on Power Rangers. on the screen with Chiplet if you know me. And uh, I did a few different things on the show. I started off on the pilot as a production manager, which after we all watched the pilot, we thought that there would never ever be another show. <laughs> <laughs> I remember David Yost in our office is telling us how we better get our resumes together. David Yost was the original Blue Ranger because we all watched the pilot and thought it was going to be hell. And I remember years later, we made, we made what was going to be one of the most fun episodes. They sent us a note saying, we have these things called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I guess the company owned, and they said, do you want to do an episode with them? And of course, and I was in charge of the writing staff at the time, so of course, you know, that's all we wanted to do, right, was have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with the Rangers. And I can remember, so we wrote these two, one, it was such a great opportunity, we wrote two episodes. You guys know those episodes? Yeah. Right. Yeah, those were really, really good. And, oh, what an opportunity. I remember as a kid, I was wondering, why doesn't Superman and Batman be on the same show? because there's way different people they're competing. So suddenly we had these two groups of very famous superheroes. And after we made the show, we all sat in, in, uh, in the conference room. We were watching one of them as it aired, the very first one. And I remember at the very moment, I think at the very end of something, at the moment when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all of a sudden made this appearance on our episode. And I remember from the back of the room, Mark said, about 10 million kids just shit in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I remember thinking, he's absolutely right, because if I was a kid watching this show, and suddenly here's like these two really popular groups of superheroes on the very same show about to fight each other, wow, that would be amazing, right? Anyways, that's one of my fond memories of Mark. So I, I started off as a production manager on the pilot, and I did a few years as a production manager, and then I wrote some scripts, and then I owned all the tracks and trailers, and then I... What's that? All the scripts at a certain point. Right, and then I eventually became a story editor, and the writers were mostly like Heim's wife, Rat, and, uh, and a bunch of friends of Heim's who, after the show was no longer at the very, very peak, they kind of fell uh, along the wayside. So Jackie Marchand and I wrote a lot of the scripts at that point. And then eventually I got to direct, and then last year I was the executive producer. And, uh, and this year I'm just here joining you guys. And I'm amazed you guys are here. I think it's really wonderful that you guys have such an interest. So thanks for showing. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Deneen uh, Doe Kistler, um, and I played Alpha 5 and 6. Uh, I started on the crew, oh thank you, <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I actually started on the crew, I interviewed with this guy that was just talking, and then he said, I think you better meet Wendy, Wendy Walters, our uh, production coordinator. So I came in to meet Wendy, and they'd already started 
production with this was still her season. And she was so tired, she probably just needed somebody to fill the role of production secretary, and that's what I was uh, interviewing for. So she had me, she said, can you start the next day? And I said, sure. <laughs> so that first day was an 18 hour day, just to give you an idea of what we do sometimes. But, um, and then I moved into uh, being the assistant to the producer, Jonathan Sahor. So I was his uh, assistant for a number of years. <laughs> and then one day at 6.30 in the morning, I'm up in the production office and I hear my name over the walkie. Jonathan's voice saying, is Do here yet? Is Do here? And I said, oh, well, what have I done now? And come to find out, the uh, young lady who was playing Alpha was missing in action. And had arrived yet that day, and they were needing to shoot. So Jonathan knew I had a, a theater background and knew I would probably fit in the suit because I'm pretty petite. So went down there and jumped in the suit for the day, and they were very happy with what I did. And eventually, I guess, they said, do you want to do it permanently? So that's, they're, they're, you can't be at the right place at the right time. And that's the, that's the essence of that story. So I had a really great time. It was six years of my life. Met a lot of really wonderful, wonderful people that I am still in touch with. And, you know, a lot of fond memories. And, and a lot of time in the suit. And, uh, and Mark down there was the guy, and Banner, and Happy. And they did all the remote control action. <laughs> the alpha pick crew it would help me get dressed all the time and bolt me into the suit because I was bolted into the suit and um, and it was an experience so it was really great fun great great fun and thanks all of you for coming out and helping me remember those times because it was a lot of fun thanks my name is Grace Heron and I play Miss Appleby
they were so excited and it was really wonderful to see that everybody was going to have this really great career to empower rangers. And it amazes me that you guys still remember my work. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Let's open up to questions. Anybody have any questions about it? Okay, so if you have a question, go over there, stand in line, and, and uh, if you have to go to the bathroom, don't do it over there, please. <laughs> oh, come on, you can don't, you can have questions before you get screened, you promise you won't bite. And I have a question, why are you guys here? I mean, what is it that, what is it that attracted you guys to the show so much that makes you 17 years later want to come to Pasadena, California? I saw your name. <laughs> <laughs> Nostalgia, fun memories. Really? Is that what it is? Mostly nostalgia and fun memories? Superheroes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and just the same kind of thing showed out of your answers. How old were you guys when you thought it was really, really cool? I was in fourth grade. I said, I'm 35. 8, 10. 6. 5. And then one last question that I have. Do you guys, do you guys still watch the show? Yeah. Hell yeah! Even the Disney ones, too. So, you know, and you all know the show is being made again, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of the same people are on there, including Elon Rosenberg. Whoa. Thank you. 